Hey there all craft beer lovers, it's the Cider Fanatic back with another beer review. Today we have a monster of a beer on the table. We are taking a look at another offering from Palace Point Brewing Company out of San Diego uh, in the United States. And this is their Sea Monster Imperial Stout. American Stout with Oatmeal. Sounds absolutely delicious there, guys. Uh, this is a big 650 milliliter bottle. And it clocks in, as you can see there, at 10% ABV. There we go. 10% ABV, guys. Monster of a beer. A little bit of text there. A beast of an imperial stout. Our sea monster imperial stout explores the darkest reaches of the traditional oatmeal stout. This bold, rich brew first lures you in, lures you in with roasted coffee notes, then grabs hold with hints of bittersweet chocolate and currant. Uh, backed with a perfect hop balance, you will soon discover this is one monster of mythic proportions. Sounds absolutely right by me, guys. Uh, there's the lovely bottle cap. Ballast Point Brewing Company. I really do like their beers. So with that said, guys, we're gonna open this monster of beer up and see what we have. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer is going down the glass. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. There we go. Ooh, looks fantastic. Ooh. There we go, guys. In view, as you can see, I did. I really did an aggressive pour there. Uh, what do we have? We have a kind of a uh, five finger head uh, of compact tan colored head there. Jet black bear in the glass. Bit of lively carbonation going on there. Looks absolutely fantastic. Compact. Let's get a whiff on this bad boy. Oh. Oh yeah, so loads and loads of licorice, guys. Uh, oh my goodness me. Licorice galore, just by the smell. Yeah, roasted toasted malts, a little bit brandy there. Oh, I almost got a little bit of foam up my nose there. Yeah, so guys, the, the dominating smell is actually licorice, uh, surprisingly enough. So yeah, I guess it's up to the smell, uh, not the smell, but the taste, right? So with that said, cheers. And here's to Ballast Point Brewing Company and their Sea Monster Imperial Stout. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, guys. Right up, up front, lovely creamy mouthfeel for sure. And uh, the taste just follows the aroma. Loads and loads of licorice, guys. There's even a hint of, I would say, I mean, I read at the label there, a little bit of currant, black currant, I guess. Um, you do notice definitely a, a hint of that, I would say. A little bit of berry tartness. Just ever so slightly a hint there, guys. Um, but it's it's beautiful. It's a really nice uh, Imperial Stout. I'm going to go for another one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, loads of licorice. Bready. Roasted malts, dark roasted malts, cold coffee at the end of there. Mm. Yeah, mm. lovely, lovely Imperial Stout, guys. Uh, sea Monster from Ballast Point Brewing Company. Really cool label uh, uh, to boot. So, I mean, really, really cool. Some kind of scary deep water fish there. Uh, it's a sea monster, guys. It's a monster of a beer. 10% ABV. This is, I would say, this is a little bit of danger beer because you don't really notice 10% ABV in there. So it's very easy to just, you know, drink and drink and drink. And then you will, yeah, you will find yourself, uh, you know, lying down. So a final sip, guys, and then we'll rate this beer. Mm. 
Ja. Mm. Oh ja. Yeah. So guys, absolutely lovely beer. Uh, oh ja. Yeah. So uh, truckloads of licorice. A hint of black currant in there. Just ever so slightly a hint of berry tartness. Uh, yeah, lovely beer. The only wish, uh, if I'm going to be picky, I would have wanted a little bit more chocolate in there. But otherwise, other than that, just a lovely, super nice uh, Imperial Stout from a well-respected company, Ballast Point. Really love their beers, even though they are purchased now by, I think it's AB and Bev or whatever. But it's a very, very nice beer. Uh, really really nice definitely I can recommend this beer so if you like your imperial stouts uh, I would definitely say if you find sea monster on the shelves of your local store or bottle shop or whatever go for it very very nice 650 milliliter bottle 10% ABV just a lovely beer full of flavors easy to drink you don't notice the alcohol but remember guys it's a little bit of danger beer uh, because you don't know the ten, notice the 10% in there, so it maybe you will find yourself lying down. If you're drinking this, it's easy to drink. So, But a really nice beer. Uh, Rating-wise, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5 from the side of Fanatic. Feel free, of course, to chime in. Have you tried it? What did you think of it? Thumb me up if you like the review. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.